Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay. I have booked a solo trip to Rome for a couple of days. So I'm going for four full days and I leave tonight. Um, it's my first solo trip. So really hoping I make some friends and um, yeah, so excited to go to Rome. Buongiorno, I have arrived in Rome. I've just eaten breakfast at a little like coffee shop near um, my hostel and it literally cost me two euro fifty, which I'm sh so shocked about. I think because it's a bit out of um, where the main like tourist attractions are. Um, yeah, I'm staying at the Alessandro Palace and Bar Hostel, which um, yeah, it's so far so good. And then yeah, last night, I um, arrived quite late, so I got a, well, I thought I was going to have to get a taxi, but actually um, I ended up getting a bus, which cost me 12 euros for a return, and it was only like 25 minutes, and my hostel was only a five minute walk from the station, so that all worked out well. I'm just going to wander around this morning, and then this afternoon I've got the Colosseum book, so I'm going to go to the Colosseum and um, maybe the Forum and the Palatine, Palatine Hill. I just went to the Colosseum and now I'm going to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. Like, that's the third wonder of the world I've seen and yeah, it was definitely special. It's right behind me actually. <laughs>
probably have done like 20,000 steps, maybe more. I think I'm gonna head up to the rooftop bar and see if I can meet some friends. Thought I'd just show you my room quickly. So lockers, beds, and then there's a bathroom and a toilet there. So yeah, quite basic, but um, yeah, I think it's To a place called it was someone had recommended it on instagram it's called farina la pizza literally everyone there was a local so that was a really good sign and the pizza was really good and yeah and then i went to the um the the rooftop bar at this hostel and met some people and yeah i had some drinks and then um we went out so yeah not feeling a hundred percent fresh today this morning i headed out to grab a coffee and in rome um they have these um, these pastries that are called maritozzi. So I got one of those. It's like a um, it's like a soft bun filled with cream. This was recommended by I follow this guy on Instagram who does food recommendations all around Italy. I think today I'm going to go to Villa Borghese for a bit and just kind of like have a stroll around the park, and then I'm going to head into Trastevere. A bit later on I think some people might be joining me that I met last night so that's exciting also I forgot to say that my breakfast was only like three euro fifty for a cappuccino and the um, maritozzo and this is my outfit of the day <laughs> further out 
to, um, I think it was called Lucho. One minute. So sorry, this morning I came out a bit further to this um, like archaeological park in Lucho Sestio, um, just to like chill for a bit really and kind of get some sun because I've walked so much the past two days. So yeah, I'm just kind of chilling today. That's just this so beautiful. There's the viaduct. Um, yeah, my plan was to just kind of chill here for a bit, but I'm really hungry. So I need to go and get some breakfast. There's no like cafes here or anything. Aranci, which is stunning like the view is amazing definitely recommend going up there and just like chilling um, apparently it's really nice for the sunset as well so maybe if I get time I might do that tomorrow and come back here but now I'm off to get a um, trapezino for lunch which is like an Italian but oh, sorry like a Roman street food I think it's relatively like modern um, yeah I think it's like a filled bread that pizza thing I don't know but we'll see Today I'm heading to the Pantheon and then the Vatican and then I might just like have a wander around Trastevere again um, but yeah it's a lovely day in Rome I'm in this little piazza on my way to the Pantheon <laughs> 